now. Well, it is. There must be a block in the flu. But the dinner's not cooked. We haven't even put in the souffles. There'll be no souffles tonight. And the mutton's still raw. What in heaven's name is going on? I'll tell you what. We've 20 lords and ladies in the drawing room waiting for dinner, and we've got no dinner to give them. Oh, my God. Why are you not in white tie? Darling, please forgive me. I'm afraid they never sent my tails back. Mm. You're not in my tie either. What have you come as? I'm so sorry. Thomas has lost all my dress shirts. Why, why is he still here? I thought you'd given him his marching orders. I had, but my dear mother-in-law intervened. I have a good mind no, to no, tell her. No, 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 not tonight. She must have it all her own way tonight, don't you think? Oh, you two are dressed for a barbecue. And I feel like a Chicago bootlegger. I don't even know what that means, but it sounds almost as peculiar as you look. Robert, come quickly. What is it? Apparently the oven's broken down. It can't have done. What does that mean? To cut a long story short, it means we have no food. Oh, funny clothes and no food. Should be quite an evening. Thank you, Mother. <clears throat> Nothing's cooked. And nothing's going to be cooked. But surely, shall we just tell them to go home? No, Cora, please, come on. They've come for a party. We're going to give them a party. Carson, mm -hmm. clear the table. You go down to the larders. You bring up bread, fruit, cheese, chicken, ham, whatever's edible. We're going to have an indoor picnic. They're going to eat whatever they want, wherever they want, all over the house. Are you quite sure, madam? It's not really how we do it. How you used to do it. Oh, come on. It might be fun. I agree. We'll all pull together and it'll be great fun. Yes. Now I know what we need. Does anyone here play the piano? Oh, Mama, this is so exactly not what we wanted the evening to be. If it's the end of your undignified campaign, I won't be sorry. We can't just give up. Certainly not. Oh, do you think I might have a drink? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were a waiter. Now, all of you, find whatever it is you want to eat and take it wherever you want to sit. Anywhere. Anywhere. All over the house. If any of you have ever wanted to explore Downton Abbey, this is your chance. I'm sorry if it's all a bit casual. It's exciting, Lord Grantham. I feel like one of those bright young people they write about in the newspapers. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Melville. Cheer up. She won't be here forever. But how much damage will be done before she goes? This evening has made me homesick for America. It's time to go. I don't suppose you want some whiskey to take to bed? Oh, but I'd love one. No water. Thank you. I'm sorry I can't help you keep Downton, Robert. That's what Mary wanted. Ah. Oh, I thought there was something. You know, the way to deal with the world today is not to ignore it. If you do, you'll just get hurt. Sometimes I feel like a creature in the wilds whose natural habitat is gradually being destroyed. Some animals adapt to new surroundings. It seems a better choice than extinction. I don't think it is a choice. I think it's what's in you. Well, let's hope that what's in you will carry you through these times to a safer shore. 